All right, we're looking at the table summarizes 981 pedestrian deaths that were caused by automobile accidents. If one of the pedestrian deaths is randomly selected, find the probability that the pedestrian was either intoxicated. So how many people were intoxicated? The driver, wait, the pedestrian was intoxicated or the driver was intoxicated. Okay, so these 220 people, the pedestrian was intoxicated. These 53 people, both of them were. And these 77, the driver was. So the probability would be all of these people, that's how many people are in either one or the other category, and the 53 are in both, but we don't count them twice, divided by the total 981. So let's take a look. The numerator, 53, plus 77, plus 220, divided by the denominator, 981, 0.3568. We want one decimal percent to one decimal, so 35.7. Okay, now there's another approach to this problem, and that is the probability of A or B equals the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. So that would look like the probability of the pedestrians. Uh, how many total pedestrians are there? 220 and 53, that's 273 out of the 981, plus the driver's intoxicated, 77, plus 53, 130, and minus the probability of them both being intoxicated, those 53. Essentially what this does is it counts all of the pedestrians intoxicated and all of the drivers intoxicated but then that's double counted to 53, so then we subtract that over count. So if we work this out in our calculator, we have 273 divided by 981 plus 130 divided by 980. Should it be 1? I stopped writing the 1. I don't know. That should be a 1. And minus 53 divided by 981. And we get the same number. So either way, we get the same result. So you can either use the formula or you can just use the table and recognize, again, that all three of these categories are in one or the other. So just count them up individually. All right, hope this helps.